Hey everybody, it's Shelly Rose and I'm back with another video. Um, today I thought I would do an anime review on a show called Fruits Basket. I'm sure some of you have heard of it. And you guys, um, please bear with me because uh, I'm new at this. Um, I just started my channel uh, last month, so bear with me and I'm also... Uh, and I'm not very good at speaking out, so you guys got to bear with me on that. <laughs> but anyway, um, I will show you the menu uh, feature, some of it, the, some of the features on it uh, here in a few minutes. And I will tell you a bit uh, about the show, you know, and my thoughts, opinions about it. Um, of course, this uh, menu features uh, Toru and, of course, the title, Fruits Basket. And there's the uh, uh, menu part of it. Uh, play all, episodes, language, and extras. So anyway, let's get to the box set um, and what it looks like. And I will also tell you um, where you can get it or buy it or even order it. Okay, well, anyway, the cover uh, here features uh, Kiyo, Toru, and uh, Yuki. And this is the front cover of the box set in which it comes in. And there's, of course, the title for each basket. And in the back, it has the summary of the show and Yuki in his rat form, uh, a rice ball, and Kyo in his cat form. There's the side of the cover. All right, uh, here is the first uh, disc uh, cover, first two disc covers, cover. <laughs> anyway, um, here's what they look like. Here's the second disc and Kagura and the first disc I'm playing on my DVD, Shigori and uh, Yuki. Um, there, uh, that's where the first disc uh, will be, or should be. And of course, here's the front and it features Yuki. And the back, it features Toru, who is the, who is the main character of the show. All right, here is uh, the second uh, two discs, discs three and four, and it, it's got Kiro in the front, or excuse me, Kiyo. Toru in the back, uh, who's wearing a dress with two ribbons in her hair. And um, here is what the discs look like. There's discs. Uh, three and four. All right. All right, so let's get to the menu. Hopefully I can get this without, get through this without messing up. Let's see. There's the language. And it features Shigori in the subtitle and language parts uh, of the section of this menu. And here is where you can turn on and off the subtitles English. Uh, or you can watch it in its original Japanese form without any subtitles because some people prefer that over the English. Um, some people prefer titles so that way they can under the subtitles so they can understand it. So you can turn the subtitles on and off. Anyway, there's that part of the menu. All right. And here is the extras. All right, in the extras, you've got um, character profiles, um, uh, the opening theme song of Fruits Basket, and a Funimation featurette 
which features the uh, voice uh, cast, the English voice cast. Um, they talk about their opinions and thoughts about the show. And of course, you know, while they're talking, you get uh, pictures of the characters um, and the la and uh, I think there is also a Japanese uh, featurette as well where it features the vo uh, the Japanese voice cast I think not sure and the last is the Funimation trailers and that is the extra extras on the uh, menu and again it features Kyo and um, of course, the title, Fruits Basket. Um, anyway, um, about this series, it's about a girl named Toru Honda who is 14 years old, and she is not a very popular girl in, in her uh, school. She is a first-year D student. Um, well, rather, a first-year student. Um, and... Uh, Anyway, uh, Yuki goes to that school as well, and um, she's got two best friends uh, by the name of Arisa and Hana, and um, of course she's seen Yuki, but she's never really talked to him because he's like really popular, but anyway, um, her mom dies in a car accident or an automobile accident, of course, and she uh, decides that, you know, to live on her own in a tent in the woods because she has nowhere to go, so she decides to uh, do, to live on in the woods on her own because um, she doesn't want to bother, she doesn't want to burden her friends uh, staying in their house or apartment, so she feels that she's better off on her own. And, you know, Toru is just a sweet, loving, caring uh, girl. Go, you know, she's a go-lucky, happy girl, and she accepts anyone for who they are and what they are. And anyway, uh, one day she stumbles upon uh, Shigori's house, and she sees Yuki, too, as well, because they both live there. And she sees these cute little figurines of the 12 Chinese uh, zodiac animals. Anyway, uh, she tells them that she's living uh, somewhere in the woods. At least I think. I can't remember exactly. But anyway, she uh, meets them and ends up going to school. And I think later on that night, she runs into, she runs into them again. And explains what, you know, she's doing there. And, um, of course, she ends up sick. The Somas take her in, uh, take care of her for a little bit. And uh, Yuki, of course, gets her things. Um, but, um, anyway, uh, the Somas have a family secret that they don't want anyone to know. So, naturally, Toru finds out about it because she stays with him for a little bit. And uh, she's a little shocked and surprised because she has never heard of um, this secret. She has never heard of people turning into the 12 Chinese animals of the Zodiac. And... Um, Anyway, she doesn't know what to do, and what surprises her even more and shocks her is the fact that they start talking. So she ends up telling the, the male guy that, you know, delivers the mail, and of course he just kind of looks at her like, oh, okay. Um, so anyway, um, throughout the series, uh, she ends up meeting uh, Kiyo as well, who is the cat, and uh, Kiyo and her don't start, off, start, don't start off on the uh, 
right foot. I mean, because Keo has got a chip on the sh on his shoulder. He's got a tough act going, and he doesn't like showing his feelings to anybody. I mean, he prefers being on his own too, if he could. But um, anyway, uh, and Keo, I mean, and Shigori is a writer and the oldest who lives in the house with them. And Yuki is the most popular boy in the school who girls uh, just happen to be uh, in love with him. And in fact, there is a fan club dedicated to him. And um, the fan girls aren't very happy throughout the series when uh, they see Toru hanging out with Yuki. And they feel like Yuki uh, could do better and they don't like the fact that uh, Toru is always with them all the time and um, they think she's a bad influence and plus they want Yuki uh, for themselves because they are just obsessed uh, fangirls who are just totally in love with Yuki. But anyway, she meets out, she meets more Soma family members and ends up finding out more about them throughout the series. She meets people like Hataru, Hattori, who is a doctor, um, let's see, Kisa, um, let's see, um, she meets um, Momiji and a few more, Akito, who starts off being nice at first, but, you know, ends up being a jerk in the end. Um, but anyway, uh, not going to spoil the whole thing for you, but anyway, I think this show is about acceptance and, uh, the Somas, uh, go through, uh, you know, this entire series just, uh, telling their stories, you know, and how they haven't really been accepted in the past by others and, um, you know, what they've been through in their past. And um, they feel like no one would understand, no one on the outside would understand their, their pain or what they're going through when it comes to turning into these animals. Um, they believe that by being uh, kept, by keeping to themselves that no one will ever find out and no one uh, will understand. So anyway, um, that's it for the summary. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this summary and review. Um, Anyway, I bought this anime uh, when Hastings uh, was still around. I spent about fifteen to fifty to sixty dollars on it because this is the complete series, and um, uh, anyway, you can buy probably buy them at Best Buy uh, and uh, Walmart. Uh, because I do know that they do have some anime. You might be able to even find it at Target, but I think you might be better off finding it online uh, in uh, places like Amazon, Best Buy, or even Target, because um, personally, Amazon, to me, has more of a selection on anime than any other place to me. But um, anyway, be warned because anime is very expensive just buying the first season of a show is like over thirty dollars so um you know be prepared to spend a whole uh good amount of money because anime is very expensive especially if you're thinking about buying a whole series <clears throat> but Anyway, if, uh, oh yes, and the English class, um, Laura Bailey plays Toru, um, uh, or is voiced, uh, voices Toru, um, Eric Vale, uh, voices, uh, Yuki, 
Haru is voiced by Justin Cook. Christopher Savitt voices Ayami, just to name a few of the voice casts. Um, there's others I'm sure you've heard of. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to recognize their voice. Um, <coughs> anyway, um, if you like this uh, video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, anyway, uh, feel free to also give a comment because I would love to talk to you guys about not only this show, but other shows as well. And, you know, it's just always nice to talk to people who love anime just like I do. So feel free to drop me a line, uh, down in the comment section. Uh, anyway, be on the lookout for, um, anime, I mean, for collabs, because uh, I'll be doing uh, a few collabs uh, videos with another YouTube channel. I believe you know him, Neilio. And uh, you never know, I might show my face in it. Might make a surprise appearance. So you'll just have to tune in and find out. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a good, a good weekend. And... Um, See you in the next video, guys.